Hey folks, so uh, just uh, shoot a, a quick video of the, um, the, the next project in the world of, uh, of Helium. Uh, this is going to be my off-grid system. It's just in principle at the moment and there's still a number of things to actually work out. But uh, I've talked a little bit about off-grid in, uh, in the various groups and it seems to get a lot of attention. So uh, we'll do a uh, sort of like a... Um, a conference call, a Zoom meeting or something soon. But anyway, I'll just sort of show you, this is just in principle, there's obviously still bits missing, like the miner. <laughs> um, okay, so the system is obviously going to be mounted on, on a mast. I'm looking at approximately a two to three meter mast, which will be dependent upon uh, specifics of the location. Uh, this box down here is a, a weatherproof junction box, uh, and it's also lockable. Um, I'm going to additionally lock this with a, uh, with a, a padlock and a slide bolt. Uh, so inside there is a, um, uh, a, a battery, a lithium ion battery. Uh, that's obviously the battery there. Uh, this is the solar controller and this is the 4G uh, Wi-Fi. Now this box is actually too small. I have ordered a larger box. Uh, this was going to be my original box for my home, uh, home Helium setup, uh, but uh, I've actually ended up going with a PVC unit because it's lighter. So at the moment, this box is here is just a little bit surplus, but I'm going to turn it into something else eventually. So I have ordered a larger box that will fit the batteries in, because uh, at the moment I only have one battery, I'm going to be doing some tests. I fully anticipate that eventually I'm going to need to run two batteries in order to ensure that I have got uh, enough backup power. So I'll actually run uh, two batteries side by side, uh, running them in uh, parallel so that I actually have uh, greater capacity to run the unit probably for up to uh, two to three days, maybe even up to four. I need to do some testing. Anyway, okay, so that's it, what's inside the box. Obviously the solar panel here, which will be uh, mounted not held up by a cardboard box it will be mounted to a post and obviously this post here is just for example purposes it will be a much more significant uh, pole than that uh, and then obviously the antenna at the top so the whole entire unit solar charges battery or rather solar goes through solar controller goes into uh, goes into battery the um, uh, the hotspot We'll, uh, this charger here actually has uh, the USB points down here and that's where I'll be taking the power to run the 4G, uh, 4G hotspot or rather 4G uh, internet a dongle or the likes. Uh, this is just an example. I will probably be getting the USB dongle sort that actually pokes down rather than the square one just through the economizing of size. Uh, I have found that Optus has a 50 gigabytes per month. Uh, no, sorry, uh, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll post it. I'll, I'll be doing a full tutorial on this once I finalize details, but there's a very, very economical plan through Optus where it's an unlimited data plan uh, for, I'm going to say at uh, $15 a, a month. I think that gave you about 5 gig of normal speed, but after the download completes, you still get unlimited speed at, uh, I think it's 1.5 megabits, which is still quite uh, sufficient for what we need for our hotspots. So um, anyway, uh, the dongle will run from here. Uh, the power for the miner will come out of the area that has the light bulb that's the outgoing 240 uh, this power here or those two lines well those two uh, where the power goes into the battery and those two there are the ones that go up to the uh, solar panel uh, so yeah I mean once this is all set up and running I plan on actually doing a bit of a prototype uh, here at home uh, initially it won't be running with the miner. I'm just going to go and get myself an old router or something that draws approximately the same current, maybe a light bulb, whatever it might be, and just run it so that I can prove if the battery actually lasts long enough that I only need a single battery. Uh, if anybody's interested, 
Uh, what have I got there? I've got a 12 volt, uh, 20 amp hour uh, battery at the moment. Uh, this is a 100 watt, um, 100 watt panel. Uh, I'm in Queensland, so up here, uh, sun is no problem whatsoever. We've got plenty to spare. Uh, if you were going to take this concept and run it in somewhere like Tasmania or Victoria uh, or even some parts of South Australia, you may be challenged a little bit unless you get an... Oh, obviously, all year round. Uh, through summer, you'd probably be fine, but in winter, you may not get enough power from that single single panel to charge the battery sufficiently to run your hotspot for as long as you need it. Uh, remembering this is a prototype at the moment. Uh, if anybody is an electrician and knows batteries and knows solar and knows solar power, feel free to comment on the video. I would love to get your feedback and I would also love to talk to you one-on-one -on -one, uh, so we can all learn from one another. But this is the basic setup here, guys. Uh, I plan on using these for all of my uh, hosted hotspots. My one here at home will be run from, uh, run from 240 volts and will also be run from an ethernet cable um, up my mast which you will have seen in the previous video uh, this is the off-grid system that will go everywhere else um, it's not that i'll be hosting in locations that won't have power or likewise won't have internet because i'd imagine all places will um, however through being able to be completely self-sufficient it just removes a lot of those challenges that people may have uh, when I first get started. Plus, it means that, in fairness, I can uh, probably arrange some form of hosting deal that is a little bit more favorable to myself because there is absolutely no cost whatsoever to the host, uh, with the exception of having this device in their rear yard somewhere. Okay, so hopefully uh, that is interesting to you at the moment. Watch this space. There'll be more videos and discussion on this as we go through. Catch you soon.